Okay, we've been out here for a while. The bugs are everywhere. They're not biting, but they are a bit of a nuisance. So one of the first things we did once we actually found this place, because I got twisted around a couple times, is we kind of sat for a minute and rested. Then we went down to the lake and the lake is just down over there, 50 meters maybe. Grabbed a little bit of water. There's my analogy in there beside my chair. And then the next thing we did is we started cutting wood to make a fire because we wanted to get the bugs away. It's helping a little bit, but we're gonna need to make it a little bit bigger here. We're just getting to the point where we're gonna cut up a lot more firewood and then start pitching our tents. And then from that point, uh, I'll do another video because I want to set up my three men with my extra fly and extra footprint and all that and test it out, see how it goes. So I'll be looking at that. And there's the man who bailed on me last weekend, who last minute decided to come with me today. So we are in the same spot. There's still a bit of standing water. And it was pouring down rain last weekend, so I don't know if you can see them or not, but the bugs are all over me. And uh, I think the two, the two tents will be down, down there a little bit over that spot. But until then, we're going to get some wood chopped and get the site cleaned up a little bit and move all our stuff from there over closer to the fire. Maybe set the tarp up because they are calling for a slight chance of rain today and tomorrow. So we want to be prepared for that. So a little bit more to come. There's Gary fanning, trying to keep the bugs away. Putting the bugs. Had the fire going for a little while and just dying down because we don't really need it for warmth because it is not cold out. It's more to create a bit of smoke to get some type of relief from the bugs. Right now I'm just between my legs. Filling up the Nalgene water, a Nalgene bottle with uh, my new uh, Sawyer Mini. Um, it's great. Sawyer works fairly well. The uh, bag is something to be desired because even though it's upside down, I know, 16 ounce bag, my Nalgene's a liter or 32 ounces. It should be two, two pouches and fairly full, but it goes a little bit further than that, so... Um, once I get it filled up, and we'll, uh, we're gonna have something quick to eat and then we're gonna set up our tents where we get everything situated and ready before, uh, too long. It's about two o'clock or so, and, uh, fairly soon we'll start thinking about dinner. I just heard a woodpecker in the background. Yep. So, the sun's out which I wasn't expecting. And uh, there it is again. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But uh, it's turned out to be a nice day. So, so between the two of us, we brought about three cans of beer each. And since it's relatively on the warm side and I'm not a big fan of drinking warm beer I grabbed a couple for later on tonight and I put them in the water now the water's a little murky mucky but it's relatively cold which will keep my beer cold which will make this camper happy and I came down here and once I got to the water's edge the wind picked up a little bit and there was a nice breeze and it cooled me down a little bit and it got rid of some of the bugs and the wind is intermittent the other thing I wanted to take a look at was um, the sky because I need to know if I should set up a tarp shelter in case it rains. But it doesn't look like we're gonna get anything. I'm gonna wait. It's uh, 
just about two o'clock now and uh, I'll wait a little while and come back down and see what happens. There's my kettle. I'm gonna fill that up with water and bring it back. Boil some water. And uh, maybe get I don't know, some lunch going. So I'm getting a little hungry. But once I get back up there, we're gonna set up our tents. So we need to get that done. And just one more task out of the way before we can really sit back and relax. And of course, we need to count, uh, cut a whole mound more of firewood. So I just wanted to show that my natural refrigerator is keeping my beer chill. I got two more back of the side. I might bring them down as well, get them cold. i do that a little later. Right now, I'm gonna grab some water and head back up. It's a nice day out. Don't know if you can see it right now, but I am swarmed with, I think they're black flies. Not sure, they're not mosquitoes. They're black they're, flies. They're small, they're black flies, and they're pesky as hell. Um, some of them are biting a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks to uh, Gary's legs. But uh, they're getting up into my hat and they're biting my hands and there's one right there, and I'm gonna have to put my gloves back on to protect my hands a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's uh, 20 to 3, and we're waiting for sundown because we're not gonna eat before that because we'll probably eat more bugs. I know I have, and I've inhaled quite a few, mm -hmm. and I did not expect this so soon. Next weekend, the weekend after, yes. Now, not so much but again experience i know for next time so you go home no So it's about 10 to 6. Bugs are still out in force because the sun is still high in the sky. 8.30 darkness, I guess. And we have that much wood. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Gary says yes. I say probably not. Even though it's 10 to 6, we're going to wait until the sun goes down and the bugs are gone before we decide to eat. And then uh, probably stay up. For a while to enjoy the bugless night <laughs> to enjoy the bugless night as gary put it eloquently and uh yeah i can see his blowing through all this wood no problem so we're gonna have to collect at least to reserve some for the morning so we can have breakfast what do you think do we have enough wood comment like share and subscribe as usual i'm not done obviously that's usually the end tag but hey I'm bored. <laughs> but we got a great fire. And our tents are up. Now I did not put up my extra fly. I just couldn't be bothered. Uh, the bugs were really bad when I put the tent up as well. So, But right now it's not too bad. They have calmed down a fair amount. Yeah. They're in... Yes, they have. Yeah. And they're in... Uh, fits and spurts more than anything else. Stay in the smoke. Stay in the smoke. So it's about quarter to eight, 20 minutes to eight o'clock. Fire's down, I got the grill on. And uh, we're just waiting for a few more minutes for that bright sun that I just put right in front of the camera to get a little lower. The bugs have are still out but they've tapered off a little bit and they're nowhere near as bad as they were. So just waiting a few more minutes and we'll get some water and 
get dinner on the go and sit down and relax without having to wave my hat back and forth constantly without hearing Gary curse at the bugs every five minutes. <laughs> They're still out, but they're just odds and ends stragglers. But, uh, I'm hungry. Can't wait for dinner. So it's uh, just after 8 o'clock, by like two minutes, and we've gone down to get our last kettle full of water for dinner. The uh, bugs that kind of dissipated have come back as soon as the sun went behind the trees and their neighbors or friends or best buddies the mosquitoes have made an appearance now too so i'm kind of hoping that gary's pants will scare them away but so far it's not happening and uh we're gonna wait a little bit longer and then we're gonna get uh, some dinner going and uh enjoy a little bevy, a couple little bevies, and relax, and hopefully we can sit here without having to swing our hat back and forth. Let's see, or we'll see. Just got the water boiled, and got the water in. We both have the freeze-dried backpackers pantry. He's got Mountain House. I've uh, got my one of my favorites, stroganoff with beef and noodles. And vegetable Gary. Stew with beef. Vegetable stew with beef. I think I've had that before, but I'm not sure. Pad Thai is the best. Oh, yeah. Say it again. Pad Thai is the best. There the you best. go. Pad Thai is the best, apparently. Um, I've never had it. I don't think I really want to have it. But, you know, considering... Now, here in Canada, these things are $13 each, roughly, depending on what you have. So they're a little on the expensive side. But if you're just out and you don't want to cook a meal, or if you're unable to because of all the bugs, then boiling some water and adding it to these things, they're a lot better than they were 10 years ago. That is for sure. My phone just flashed at me. Auto auto adjust for night cannot be done. Nice. So I've got my headlamp on, and that's about as best we're going to get. <laughs> so I night blind Gary. I can turn the favor. Yeah, no, it's all right. And. Uh, this is probably going to be a really crappy photo, so I'm just going to make it short and sweet and say good night. It's 9.30. We're having coffee, and then I'm going to have another beer, and then I think I'm going to head in. Night.